Okay, happy Wednesday, people. You know what Wednesday means? New comic book day. What did I get? Turns out I got a whole ass load of stuff. And if you want to find out what I got, stick around and find out. Alrighty then, let's get going. We're going to do it as normal. DC, Marvel, Image, Independent Press. I switch back and forth. Image is probably Independent Press, but you know what? Image is probably one of the big three, so I just put that in there. Whatever, ignore it. Alright, so let's get going. My first book. This week, Robin and Batman, number one, cardstock variant. All right. Now, the reason these are in bags is because I picked these up on Tuesday. So I had something to read today at work. But anyway, uh, I am Batman, Fear State, number three. Uh, Batman, the Imposter, number three, cardstock. All right. Then I have Batman Urban Legends. <clears throat> How do we do this? Number nine, cardstock. And since I wasn't paying any damn attention, I accidentally got the regular cover as well. My fault. Now, no Marvel, no image. So we're going to move on to Dynamite. Kind of a blind buy. Dynamite, NYX number one. This cover right here. No idea what this is about. And if you... If there's a book that is picked up at my comic shop, in, uh, if it's off the shelf and it's in a plastic bag, that means there is some sort of, uh, what do you call it, adult content in it. That's why this was in it. Boom. All right. That's done with the dynamite. Now, my next book. Uh... Zenoscope, a book that I absolutely love. They're doing it uh, floppies, weekly, I mean monthly. And I don't know why they switched it to quarterly, but Grimm's Tales of Terror, quarterly. Bachelorette Party. I love this book, this series right here. All right. Boom. Love it. Okay. That is it for Zenoscope. Now we are on to uh, Aftershock comments. Again, another book that is um, a blind buy and in a bag because there's some sort of adult content to it. My date with monsters. Blind by. I mean, come on. That sounds actually pretty interesting. Okay. Now, that's done with that. And then we're going to move on to AWA Upshot. Uh... Ah, screwed that up. Anyway, out. Number two of five. First one was pretty good. Ish. So I'm going to get that. 
Okay, and then one more AWA upshot. Telepaths, number three of six by JMS. All right, I love his stuff. And uh, this is a really good universe that he's doing. All right, now that is it for my floppies. I did pick up one more book, but it is in the new release uh, trade paperback graphic novel section. And uh, I like the synopsis. <coughs> the House. It is done by Dark Horse. It's a bunch of people in uh, World War II. They're on the run. They take shelter in a house. And it's haunted. Boom. Uh, yeah. That looks like it's pretty damn good. All right. So when I go in today, uh, I had my box that I use for picking up stuff. But this thing is in horrible shape. You know, it's just, it's it's all ripped. Uh, I've not treated it well. And I was like, okay, I need a new one. I mean, come on, look at that. That's just not good. And, you know, I have it decorated with the stickers that I got from Bosco's and all that. So I bought a new one. Boom! New book. And... I mean, new uh, case. Should probably take this part out just because I don't want any normal advertisements on there. But all right, boom. New case. All right. That's it. So, uh, book of the week that I want to stick on the bottom. will be I know what this is going to be right here and where the hell is it Grimm's Tales of Terror Bachelorette Party I love <laughs> the Grimm Tales of Terror books I want it monthly but I'll take quarterly alright and cover of the week Um, can't do the same book normally. All right, NYX. I don't know if this is the variant cover or not, but that's the cover of the week. All right, so what do you think? Did you get the stuff that I got? Did you, uh, do you have any recommendations for me? Let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and most of all, enjoy your comments.